children under international law are all persons under the age of 18. And it's very clear that children are still in the phases of development, whether it's physical or mental development, up until uh, 18 and even beyond. And the harm caused to children in detention in the context of migration, whether it's physical or mental harm, even if they're detained for very short periods of time, uh, has been extensively documented. And that is one of the major concerns of placing children in, in detention, even if they are with their families. And over time, the evidence has shown that it can never be in their best interests to be detained. And focusing on the best interest of the child is really one of the main objectives of state policy in any decision that has an impact on children. The Committee on the Rights of the Child is an expert body that was appointed to look at how the, committee, uh, the Convention on the Rights of the Child is being implemented by member states. And so they have the guidance to interpret the provisions of the Convention. And they recently issued guidance specifically on the question of children in the context of migration, where they stated that detaining children in the context of migration, either because the children are migrants themselves or because their parents are migrants, is never in their best interests. And actually that that detention is a child rights violation. And since that guidance has come out, the UN and uh, non-governmental -gov organizations have tried to work with member states to try to promote this message and make sure it is implemented and finds its way into state policies and laws. And what UN agencies and NGOs can do and what they are doing is supporting states in training child protection officers but also training migration officers in child rights and how to determine the best interest of the child, how to work with children, how to provide information in a way that is child friendly so children understand the situation that they're in and the rights that they have and the, the conditions that they find themselves in in a, in a specific national context. Um, another way of ensuring best interest uh, assessment could be making sure you have different actors involved in the assessment. So it's not just migration officers, but you also have social workers, you also have individuals from the community, you also have, of course, the child who should be heard, you have the family members. So it's really looking at a number of actors who can help to determine and assess what could be in the best interest of the child in, in that context. One of the main advocacy points as well of, of the UN agencies is to try to encourage and ensure that European Union funds do not go towards further detention of children and migration. One of the main gaps we have uh, currently is there is very little data available on how many children are currently in detention for migration purposes across Europe but also globally. This is not just a, a European uh, situation. So we would encourage more data gathering, which would also involve more independent monitoring of places of detention to see whether children are being held, under which conditions, and whether best interests uh, determinations are being undertaken. That's one component. Another component is, of course, trying to make sure that the funding is going towards developing non-custodial measures that really focus on care arrangements for children that are child-friendly, that look at the needs of the child and are able to identify their needs and refer them to appropriate services within the national system, rather than create more detention centers which are harmful and costly. I think it's important to keep uh, the principled approach, which is focus on the harm that is caused focus on the legal framework, but also focus on things that states can do together with UN agencies and NGOs. We have a number of good practices that are already being developed, both in, in, European, in the European context but also outside Europe. And I think if we can draw on some of those good practices and demonstrate that they can work, that is a, a, an effective way forward to try to move away from this focus on detention and move towards uh, more non-custodial measures that focus on protecting children.